I want to, I want to talk about magical word, inshallah, and power of magical this magical word. So what does inshallah actually mean? The phrase inshallah literally means if God wills. What's the meaning of inshallah? If Allah wills. Well, it's three words put together in Arabic. It's a phrase that's commonly used by Muslims. It's a powerful way of invoking Allah in our daily affairs, that nothing will happen except through his permission. But then whilst I was doing some research, I came across what is definitely my favorite hadith. So let me just say the hadith to you first. Sahih Bukhari, yeah. 2819, Messenger of Allah said, Once Solomon, son of David, said, By Allah, tonight I have sexual intercourse with 100 or 99 women, Wow. Each of whom will give birth to a knight who will fight in the cause of Allah. On that, but he will did not say Allah willing, inshallah. A-double-L-A-H space W-I-L-L-S. Therefore, only one of those women conceived and give birth to half man. That nothing will happen, that nothing will happen except through his permission. If he had said Allah willing, inshallah. A double L A H space W I L L S. All of whom would have been night striving Allah's cause. Now I heard about this hadith very much at the start of my journey about really learning about Islam. And it was a really big, like, mind-blown moment for me, to be honest. And Muslims are instructed to say it before embarking on matters they intend to perform. A-double-L-A-H space W-I-L-L-S. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that Prophet Sulaiman's high ambitions did not come into fruition one night after he neglected to say, inshallah. It was just, like I said, it really just blew my mind. However, had he made sure to say the phrase, he surely would have succeeded. What are the permissible jokes in Islam? And this is a story, supposedly, is a true story mentioned by Muhammad. Tonight, I will go around, i.e., and I will do F. What is this? Seriously? How many women? 100 women. You want to sleep with 100 women all in one night? 100 women in one night? And I was like, wow. Did again, did again, did again. And look what the purpose of having sex with all those 100 women. He want to have 100 fighter to do jihad. Wow. Every one of whom will deliver a male child. This guy, even his sure they will be male. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad is really, really, really a very nice for a cartoon. Muhammad is not lying at all. How dare you to say Muhammad is lying? Are you stupid or what? Some people, when they see the scholars or some of the students of knowledge laughing, they say it's wrong or it's an innovation or they're surprised. No, this is from our religion. He says, no, it is actually from our religion. <sighs> Mashallah, mashallah. An angel, he came to him. He said, Khabibi, you see, remember this, this guy, uh, <laughs> Solomon, he is a Jew. He said to him, Khabibi, Khabibi, uh, Solomon, Khabibi, uh, Khabibi, don't forget Khabibi. Before you have sex, Khabibi, uh, say inshallah, Khabibi. A double L A H space W I L L S. <laughs> but look at this, Solomon, what he did. But he forgot to say, if Allah will. So the guy, he started having bang bang. Mind blown moment for me, to be honest. Then he had sexual relationship with them, all of them. So he did not say, if Allah will. A double L A H space W I L L S. And look what happened, brother. Surprise, surprise. But none of them delivered any child except one. Delivered what? A whole person. <laughs> that nothing will happen. That nothing will happen except through his permission. <laughs> How we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet and he is telling the truth. Muhammad's parents are kuffar. They are not believers. They will go to hell. And they never said if Allah will. So how Muhammad came to existence? Insha'Allah. 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 Often people say insha'Allah in an insincere way. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. When? It. But let Inshallah. me just tell you. And that seems to be the way that Biden used it in the presidential debate. What kind of a Muslim he say and he okay. post in YouTube saying, I will debate the Christian Prince by universe, say inshallah. Say inshallah. A double L A H space W I L L S. Isn't it required for a Muslim to say inshallah? Oh inshallah. Okay, fine. fine. Inshallah, inshallah. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Often people say inshallah in an insincere way. No, 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 no. I want you to answer me. Don't tell me inshallah now. It's too late. Inshallah is the word I should have said. He said, son, too late. When we told you to say it once, you didn't. Oh, inshallah. Okay, fine. Inshallah, inshallah. Did you hear that? 
Now you can say it a million times, it's not going to help you. And actually there is another video on this by Khalid Al Amari and he basically went around um, Abu Dhabi, was speaking to a lot of like people there and just saying, you know, what does inshallah mean to you? If you ask someone to do something for you and they say inshallah, that means it's no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you think? It is no. Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. You ask someone for something and they say inshallah, is it going to happen? Uh, not all the time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? When you ask someone to do something and they say inshallah, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, probably, probably not going to happen. <laughs> when you ask for something and someone says inshallah, is it going to happen? Probably not. So we say inshallah, which means probably not. <laughs> Just do it. Inshallah. A double L A H space W I L L S. Inshallah.